Crime Stoppers has been something that's been in existence for some time, and I'll let John explain more a little bit uh, more about that uh, in, in, I guess, uh, greater detail. But I just first wanted to uh, to take the opportunity to mention um, uh, our our continued and cooperative relationship with them has helped us in many regards in the past. Many crimes, some serious crimes, um, some situations where we just needed information from the public, uh, we were able to team up with them. And I think most law enforcement agencies would have to agree they've been a, a very valuable re resource for those of us in law enforcement. And again, a very simple way if somebody does uh, not want to be known uh, to give out a tip, uh, just by uh, dialing 1-800-SPEAK-UP, uh, an anonymous tip where people can not only just give that tip, get information to help us get help, but also uh, an opportunity uh, for people to, uh, to obtain a reward for reward money. And again, this situation here, we're looking at some very tough economic times. We are uh, enlisting the public more so now than ever before. And why? Because we're starting to see dwindling resources from law enforcement agencies, starting from the state, to the counties, to the local level. With that, we need more engaged response from the public. And how we're planning on doing that uh, with this particular, um, I guess, announcement is uh, to try to let people know that we are seeing some of the, I guess, smaller type crimes happening in the neighborhood. And sometimes people don't think uh, what they saw was that important and never realize that something may have happened in their neighborhood. A uh, quick example, sometimes homes are broken into. And when a home or a vehicle and a driveway is broken into, a lot of times the people don't even know it and live right next door or across the street. Maybe they saw something earlier in the day or right around that time it occurred, but they never thought to bring it to anyone's attention. We in law enforcement go to the home, take a report, and try hopefully somehow uh, along the way to gain enough information to help resolve that particular crime and find out who committed it. What we're trying to do is actually reach out to the neighbors in and around those homes that are either broken into or the cars that are, um, uh, people break into and let them know that something happened in their neighborhood and hoping that they may have seen something or notice something that they were afraid to say at first or just didn't think it was much and bring it to our attention. So what Crime Stoppers has done is they came up with these neat little placards. They're actually door hangers. And uh, some of them are very specific, talking about crimes that may have happened in and around the neighborhood where somebody uh, breaks into a home, um, suspicious activity, and giving us the opportunity to give these to our law enforcement officers so that after they take a report, they sometimes will canvass the neighborhood. They'll go talk to neighbors but sometimes people aren't home. So instead of just walking away from that home, they'll just put a little placard on the door and give people the indication that someone's home in the neighborhood was broken into. If you have any information, please contact Crime Stoppers, 1-800-SPEAK-UP, and or get a hold of the Sheriff's Department if they want to talk to us directly about something. This is interesting because uh, when John brought this to my attention, I had, a, I, had a, I had a kind of laugh about it because quite honestly, um, uh, several years back, we had done this with one of those eight mile um, initiatives that we had. I was out there uh, working the streets with the officers and we went to this home to serve a warrant on someone. The person was not home and so the officers uh, were leaving a business card in the window uh, by the door and as they were getting ready to leave I'm thinking to myself, boy those things just uh, oftentimes don't bring you the attention what we need. And as we're walking away from the home there happened to be uh, a placard similar to this laying on the ground next to the door and when I picked it up it said, Art Van, sorry we missed you. And so when I looked at that, I thought, boy, that's a neat way of trying to get the attention of people that we need to talk to about anything, whatever it might be, the detectives wanting to stop by. So we, did, we designed these things several years back for the purpose of wanting to talk to somebody directly about a particular matter or situation. So the officers are pretty much in tune to or understand how to deliver these things. In other words, how to bring it to someone's attention. And uh, it's going to be a simple trans, uh, transfer over to letting them know that, hey, a crime was committed in your neighborhood, and we want you to think about something that you may have seen or something you may have heard. And if you have, please uh, don't hesitate to contact us and let us know. So uh, with that, we think it's a great opportunity for us to uh, engage the Homeowners Association. That's why we have these individuals here today to, uh, to help us spread the word and to even get more engaged in their communities by, by hearing about these neighborhood watch programs, by hearing about crimes committed in their neighborhoods. They are also uh, they have many different ways or mechanisms of getting hold of people within their subdivisions by email, by newsletters, and trying to once again engage them into making contact with us in law enforcement about these particular problems or crimes.